Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 10th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here always looking at our sun as we have some strange things happening right now. I was talking about that plasma filament that was stretched hor or vertically on our sun. Very strange. I haven't seen anything like that. But now it is getting pretty complex, earth-facing, and we have sunspots. As you can see, all those flashes from the bright, flashy regions, those are sunspots. A couple more coming in, cresting imagery, looking at incoming right now, the last 48 hours. A little earth to scale as well. So much to see here. Our sun has totally activated. Something's changed. Big active sunspot regions earth facing now getting ready for turning away plasma filament that was vertical on our sun half of it lifted away but then it just seems to have reformed straight across the surface having a closer look at the most recent action pointing out the incoming sunspots that are pretty big and as well the plasma filament taking off there and earth facing c-class solar flares so yeah, busy sun the last 24 hours. I want to welcome all new viewers to Daily Events Worldwide. Thank you so much for inviting me into your living room or pressing play on your YouTube app. Thank you so much and much love. Looking at multi-spectrum here, you can really see the complexity that I was talking about. That strong black line straight there, that is not a coronal hole. That is a huge plasma filament. And as well, we have no coronal holes earth facing right now, just six sunspots and plasma filaments as you can see the rippling there in the southern hemisphere something has changed solar x-ray flux as you can see one two three four c-class flares overnight and three yesterday so sun is activated in a different way geomagnetic activity is slightly elevated 2.5 real-time solar wind sitting at 470 kilometers per second pretty sustained right now after being up to about 550 yesterday. Not really expecting anything until the 13th. As we do have that CME that's on its way. And no new CMEs have been thwarted our way. We'll have a look here at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing the last solar flare and CME that was projected. Just missing Mercury there. But now we have a new one directed right at Mercury, so not in an Earth-facing fashion, but as you can see, that green energy is coming our way by the 13th and then to the 16th. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 7. Quick look here at the telemetry. Normal, healthy power, quality of 8.1, power of 11. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours as, as things have picked up in magnitudes now we're still sitting at a low 200 earthquakes across the usgs and things have changed here in fiji 5.1 earthquake pretty deep 565 kilometer depth 5.1 and that is most recent we were expecting a large deep earthquake here because it's been quiet as i was posting here the last few days and expecting some more activity central america and into south america Pangai, Tonga, 4.9. So definitely something bubbling over there. And South America seeing some activity too. San Pedro de Atacama, Chile, 114 kilometer depth. And we've got a new volcano to talk about. That's right. Stratovolcano Lascar in Chile has awakened. Showing signs of activity today. No reports on exactly what has happened, but... Having a look at Google Earth here at what Lascar or Lascar volcano looks like. This is a pretty recent eruption in a very barren area of South America. Something catastrophic has happened here in our past. And I've talked about it a few times. So heads up, as we do have a lot of activity across the Ring of Fire right now, Pacific Plate, Mauna Loa erupting and as well, literally, Kilauea has drained its caldera. There was lava right up to the crustal part of this rim, the summit of caldera of 
uh, Kilauea, but now it has drained. So where is all this lava going? Yeah, it's coming out of Mauna Loa, but there's something else coming. We Things are brewing across the world right now, and if you've been paying attention in streams, things are heating up across the United States. South Sandwich Islands reporting a 5.0 earthquake today, and that's the thing I've been seeing is 5.6s, 5.0s around areas all across the Pacific Plate. 4.7 there into the Cocos Plate. Caribbean, largest through the region, being a 3.7. Puerto Rico, across North American Plate. Activity through Oklahoma and as well uh, Mentone, Texas. But notable here, 4.9 earthquake, Ferndale, California, off the coast, 14 kilometer depth. And as well a 4.4 there, the border with Mexico. Las Brisas, 4.4 earthquake, pretty much the Gulf of California and continual activity there, Lamont, Oklahoma. Alaska is seeing a sizable 5.3 earthquake at two station. And then we get to the quiet zone here across the Philippines plate as we've seen quite a bit of activity yesterday, but it's just gone quiet. Seeing similar magnitude earthquakes all across Indonesia. 4.8 earthquake here to report King Hai, China. African plate quiet. So heads up, stay aware and prepared. A lot of pressure into the Nazca plate right now and Philippines and quiet Japan. So we just had that large deep earthquake. We can expect something larger and I do believe something's coming tonight. So stay aware and prepared. 24 to 36 hour warning for a large earthquake. Largest earthquake the last seven days. This is a map, a visual of the last seven days. Largest was a 6.7 in the Tonga region. And we're seeing very similar magnitudes right now pop off across the Pacific plate. Many 5.0 and greater. These are the regions that I am forecasting. This is why I point them out at the end of this seven day visual. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Having a look here at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing most recent satellite imagery, and as well noting the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Huge low pressure system in the Atlantic. Got Nevadas de Ruiz in Colombia, Fuego in Guatemala, Cotopaxi in Ecuador. Carrying on here, many, many flood alerts here. 163 hazards. Trying to find the volcanoes. Here we go. Sabin Kaya in Peru. Sangay in Ecuador. Semeru, Indonesia. There's Alaskar in Chile. Seven hours ago, she awakened. Reventador in Ecuador. Swiss in Ajima, Japan. And that's all in the last 13 hours. Popo in Mexico. Had multiple or huge eruptions yesterday. Quick look and glance around the world at satellite imagery as we have a huge system in the Pacific as well, racing towards Alaska and the Bering Strait. Tropical depression formed just off the coast of Philippines, but nothing to be of concern there as it is going to be ushered into the Pacific pretty quickly. Then we've also got Tropical Cyclone Mandos that is making landfall right now on southern India land as a Category 1 cyclone. Having a look here at windy.com for precipitation forecast for the next few days. Big Pacific low coming in. Going to dump quite a bit of snow across central regions and northeastern regions, United States. Watch for extreme weather ahead of that as seeing a lot of equatorial moisture coming out of the Gulf of Mexico this week. Very cold temperatures sweeping down already. Polar vortex is setting up in a big way. Now let's have a look at the next 10 days for snowfall totals as northeastern parts through New York State, Washington. You will see at least 70 centimeters of snow over the next little bit couple feet there through Nebraska and as well about 130 centimeters of fresh dust across the Sierra Nevadas of California 
and as well across most of the Atlantic provinces, you're getting buried in snow in the next little bit. Having a look across Europe, as things are starting to get a lot cooler through the area, and now the moisture is moving in from the north, Norway, Finland, seeing some very strong and stormy conditions, blizzard-like conditions in some areas, thunderstorms moving through the Mediterranean, will affect Italy and then over into Turkey. Long-range forecast, those will be ushered into Central Europe. But noting all these systems coming in from the North Atlantic right now, it's going to be a wet week. All coastal regions through Northern Europe. Overlooking Asia and the West Pacific, Daily evaporation rains could be heavy at times through Papua New Guinea and as well central regions of Australia. Could be an electrifying week. We're going to have to start getting into the lightning counts as things are really getting electrifying across Australia over the next week. Watch out. It's really warm temperatures. And as well, tropical cyclone here possibly developing there for parts of northern Indonesia. Having a look at South America and Africa, daily evaporation rains. But not much to talk about here for major systems affecting you. Much love, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.